Warriors, today I want to make one thing very, very clear, and that is where to start on your health anxiety recovery journey. It's a very important topic, and I get a lot of questions about this particular topic on a regular basis. But it's truly important to understand what the steps are. Where do I begin? What's my mindset? Are there any skill sets that I can apply on the beginning stages of the health anxiety recovery journey? So I want to make everything very, very clear today for you. Okay. Now, these steps were some of the steps I used to get on my road to recovery from health anxiety as well. So these aren't just things that we pick out of the books and this and that. These are things that, you know, everybody I work with through health anxiety um, implement in their lives and they get incredible results and they get a sense of self-control and a sense that, you know what, I'm on the right path here towards health anxiety recovery because the opposite of that is just taking action. It's just finding the next thing that might work. A lot of people with health anxiety and hypochondria go from one thing to another. What solution is going to work here? You know, just really tackling the symptom, but never really getting to the root cause of the problem. So today, I want to tackle it, guys. First and foremost, number one out of the seven steps, accountability. You have to hold yourself accountable. You have to live in a world of saying, you know what? I'm responsible for what has happened to me. I'm responsible for the way I feel right now. I'm responsible for my gut health. I'm responsible for my mental, emotional, spiritual, physical health. We have to live in a place of cause and not in a place of effect. But a lot of people say, you know what? I'm scared. I'm truly, truly scared of taking responsibility for my life. Why? Because you know what? If I take responsibility and I get on the path towards recovery, what if I fail, Dennis? What if I fail? So in this case, you know what? It's better to have failed and gained the lessons from that failure than to have not tried at all and to live in a world where you're completely sensitized to every sensation, to every book that you read, to every magazine that says, hey, you know what? Have you gotten your heart checked today? It's better to live in a world of you, you know, I've, I've caused this and take the chance and be brave because I promise you, if you're brave and you become relentless, you're going to get to a place where you finally feel desensitized from anything that may be causing your health anxiety right now. So step number one is you've got to hold yourself accountable, okay? Step number two, and I do this with a lot of people I work with and I've done it myself. Create a contract with yourself for three months and say, you know what? It's going to take three months of relentlessness. It's going to take three months of me committing to a new way of thinking, a new approach to the words that I'm using, a new approach towards my behaviors, and a new approach towards my imagination. Those are the four most important aspects when it comes to health anxiety recovery journey. So with this guys, let's understand that this contract must have a number of things in it. It must have your signature on it. It must have the outline of everything that says, here's what has been causing my health anxiety and here's what I'm committed to. And you go through the contract and you sign the contract and next thing you know, when you wake up in the morning, it's the first thing you see and it's the last thing you see before you go to bed. This will hold you accountable. This will say, today's the day that, you know what? I take responsibility. Today's the day I turn my old words into new words. Today's the day I work on my new belief systems and my new identity. Because as soon as you change your identity, I promise you, everything changes. As soon as you disidentify from being an anxious person and see it as something that you're just doing and it's not who you are, everything begins to change. So get the contract ready, put it up, hold yourself accountable again, and commit to three months. Because three months says, you know what? There's no pressure on me each and every day because health anxiety people tend to get caught up in every sensation, every symptom, and every 
misinterpretation that their mind makes. So it's important, guys, to say, you know what, three months, I can do this in three months. Now you're not judging your progress each and every hour or each and every day. No, 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 not anymore. That weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Now I've got time. I've got time to learn. I've got time to understand. And I've got time to apply. These are really, really important steps, guys. Number three, replace the word but with okay and replace the words what if with so what. You'll notice that a lot of health anxiety people, a lot of sufferers out there like to say but. But, 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 or what if, what if, what if. But usually comes up when someone compliments you. Okay, so someone will say, my goodness, your energy looks different today. Or my God, you, you had a great start to the day, you know? You're, you're really making some great progress. Yeah, I really feel that, but. Yeah, I really feel that, but I'm still feeling sensations. Yeah, I'm really going there, but I still feel like I need to go to the doctors to check in to see if they haven't missed anything. Buts need to be replaced with okays. When someone compliments you, you have to take that compliment and say, hey, you know what? Yeah, I could focus on two things. I could focus on the problem or I could focus on the progress that I'm making. Which one is going to make your life better? That's the question. Okay. What ifs? You know what? What if they miss something? What if this heart palpitation is in fact going to lead to a heart attack? Whatever it is, it's a story and it's an irrational one. So we have to start turning our what ifs into so what's. And this takes practice. It takes persistence and it takes patience, my friends, the three Ps, because you can change your vocabulary. You can change your internal chatter. I believe you can. I've seen it done every single day. All you have to do is be conscious of when it comes up. All right. So make sure that you replace your butts and your what ifs. Number four, create a vision for your life. Okay, create a vision for your life, what you want, how you want to feel, and make sure you create that vision based around sensory based language. What is sensory based language? Well, what am I going to feel when I overcome health anxiety? What am I going to see when I overcome health anxiety? What, you know, what I'm seeing right now, how is it going to be different? What am I going to hear? How is my auditory sense going to change when I overcome health anxiety? What am I going to taste? Am I going to taste the foods fully? What am I going to smell? How is my, my smell, my sense of smell going to change? When you begin to use sensory based language, my friends, your nervous system is getting the message. It truly understands. If you say, oh, when I overcome health anxiety, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to feel fulfilled. You're your, your subconscious mind, your nervous system is going, yeah, I don't know what that means. I really don't. So I can't guide you, which means that, hey, you're going to be stuck in the same scenario, the same cycle that you're currently in. Okay. So make sure that you put up your vision board. And with that vision board, you remind yourself in sensory based language, what it's going to be like when you recover from health anxiety, my friends. Number five, begin transforming your core beliefs your core beliefs you know how you're walking throughout the day you're you're going for a nice little walk and all of a sudden you get this belief this this feeling that you get you get a feeling that says yeah I'd like to do that but I can't or someone gives you a compliment and you say yeah I accept that but you know what I, I truly don't have the skills whatever those feelings are my friends those are the core beliefs. The core beliefs for health anxiety sufferers usually tend to go in the, the direction of, I'm, I'm just scared of dying. I have a fear of death. I have a fear of what these sensations might be. And these usually start, the anxiety starts between the ages of zero and 10 through your authority figures, your parents, your teachers. And it starts with repetition. You've practiced this unconsciously. You've practiced repeating what your authority figures do on a daily basis and how they think and you know what this is false it's false yes you were very neuroplastic 
Yes, you were very easy to manipulate back then, but guess what? These are just memories and they can change. And these are just core beliefs that you have within you. And these can change, my friends. These can, these can really change. These are held at a very subconscious level. And when you get a feeling, that feeling is the equivalent to your core belief. That's the truth. So the best thing you can do is write them down. Write them down. Write down the core beliefs and begin tackling those. Begin seeing a different way to approach that situation and a different angle to see that belief. Hey, I'll never make it. I'll make it. Why will I make it? Because you know what? I've made such good progress because the Anxiety Guy resources are really helping me. I'm committed to change. Whatever it is, find the evidence that supports the opposite of that belief. Number six, make sure you take those core beliefs and begin the process of replacement. The thing that we just explained. Replacement is looking at the alternatives. What's the alternatives? Well, right now, I'm scared of every sensation. Okay, the opposite of this is being comfortable with the sensation. Okay, well, how many stories are there out there in the world, along with the anxiety guy, my story, that says I've taken sensations, fear of sensations, uh, fear of dying, whatever these, you know, these irrational stories I make up in my head are, how many people have taken these stories and be able to be comfortable with them? To understand that you have 60 to 75,000 thoughts per day. Why in the world would I pick on and focus on and respect the ones that continue to fuel my health anxiety further when in fact I could listen to a different story? I could understand that, hey, you know what? What if these are normal bodily sensations like Dennis is actually telling me? Wow. What if I understand that this is a misinterpretation from my amygdala, my fight or flight response that says there's a threat in the outside world? What if that's the case? There's always a different story that you can focus on, my friends. So take those core beliefs and begin the process of replacement. Replace those core beliefs because you can. You can. Your mind is very, very neuroplastic which means that it's open to new suggestions. It's open to new stories, my friends. That's the truth, okay? Number seven, recognize, okay? Recognize and feel the momentum that you currently have. Not a lot of people out there would take these suggestions and begin working with them. Not a lot. A lot of people out there would rather stay in a state of maintenance or survival and say, you know what, I'll never do it and go to those crappy anxiety forums and say, has anyone done this or has anyone taken this and never really get to the root of the problem. Remember, three months. So you have to begin noticing from head to toe what your momentum and your progress feels like. You're doing a great job. You truly are. You're taking these resources. You're understanding them. You're gaining new realizations. You're applying new skill sets, my friends. And these are great things. These are great things you should give back to yourself and say, hey, if I close my eyes right now, what does it feel like to feel this progress? Oh, it feels so good from head to toe. I feel it. I feel it. And attached to it is a color. What is that color? That color is blue. And I feel the momentum and I feel the progress and it feels so good, baby. Now, take this and run with it. Remind yourself of it each and every day because you are making progress, my friends. You are. Love you guys so much. Remember, you are more than anxiety. Love you guys so much. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to share this video with anybody that's suffering from health anxiety. Help someone today. Love you guys.